Hey there YouTube, it's Math Bowler with a celebratory video here because one, I got some items for my man crush to show you and two, I reached pi subscribers 314. Well, it's pi roughly times 100, but I'll take it. I didn't want to like celebrate and add a thing in my video saying, hey, when I get to pi, I'll be really, really happy. No, 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 no. Anyway, um, yeah, Math Bowler couldn't help it. Yeah, got to pi and as soon as I got to pi, I was going to show you these um, private signings that I received some items from. So two of them I purchased and two were from my personal collection. Three different signings. So let me go in the order with which the signings occurred. On October 16th, an individual by the name of Zach Smith was hosting an Andrew McCutcheon signing. That would be my man crush for those of you who haven't been following me for a really long time here. Gum on this Sports Illustrated from that magical, magical 2013 year. Dang, that was some good stuff. <clears throat> and, of course, you got the nice autograph. And, as I accepted the request of saying, yeah, go ahead and put the Hunt Auctions hologram on there. So, awesome! So, there's one from the Man Crush. Here's two from the Man Crush. This is from 2014. Oh, that's so cool. Wow, that came out nice. Hunt Auction COA. So we got two beautiful, beautiful Andrew McCutcheon Autograph Sports Illustrated for the collection. So that is awesome. Gave me a little bit of a discount as well since I got both of them, and that was great. So there we go. That reason there alone is enough to celebrate reaching 314 Pi subscribers. But I have two more items that I received from private signings. These were items that I actually sent in. And this one was from October 24th through Total Sports Enterprises. From the time I sent this ball out to the time I received it back was only 19 days. This baseball is also signed by a bunch of older Pirates. Well, except for maybe one or two of them, but we'll, I'll show you that in a moment. On the sweet spot, we got Bill Mazeroski. This is in black ink because all the other graphs on here were in black ink. So, years ago... Years ago, my grandfather got this baseball for me. There was a little um, little auction going on, and he thought I would like this, and he was right. <laughs> so I'm going to start with this panel here, because this is the one that I don't know who that is. I posted the first one on top there. We got somebody, Rick Rushel, Elroy Face, and that top one, you know, just trying to guess by the way the letters look. Don't even bother. <laughs> I post it to a couple Facebook groups, and I think I'll do that maybe another month or so, you know, asking, because there are a lot of knowledgeable people out there. So, in any case, the Elroy face is always, always good. I mean, I do not have Bob Del Greco or Bruce Del Ken in my collection. Frank Thomas, the original one, and Bob Friend. Jim Sadowski and Rick Rushel again. <laughs> and then to finish it off, oops, wrong way. We got Kent Tacolvi, another Elroy face, Don Schwal, and this one on the bottom, Andy Costco? Andy Costco, that's interesting. Anyway, so this had an empty sweet spot, obviously trying to get from the best remaining old-time player was Bill Mazeroski. So whenever I saw that there was a signing going on for him, I had to go for it. It's kind of annoying that I had to send a black pen, but hey, all the air autographs have held up with black pens, so this is a UV-coated code. When it's not displayed, it's put away in the shade, you know, so... Never in direct sunlight. So that was really cool, actually. That was an item where 
you know, I had been debating for a long time to get that done, and, well, the opportunity came up, and I went for it. So, yes, happy Pi Subscriber Day to Math Bowler. He got that one completed. And then, this last one was from a private signing October 30th through a gentleman by the name of Chris Smith. This was the first ever warm-up ball that was ever tossed to me. <laughs> it was from a game that went about six hours long due to rain delays. It was the first day I ever sat in the all-you-can-eat section, which turned out to be amazing. <laughs> anyway, this ball was tossed with Nate McClough and Xavier Nady. Look at that autograph. And add the inscription 7808 from the date. This was thrown with Xavier Nady, Xavier Nady and um, Nate McClough in between innings. So that was awesome. So my very first warm-up ball that I ever got has now been signed, and signed by a pretty good player, too. So, uh, yay! Happy Pi Day Subscriber Celebration Day! Seriously, it happened yesterday, on Friday. I don't know which... It was it was stuck at 313 subscribers for about five days. And then I got a notification by email that Mets Rule had subscribed to me. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I got 314 today! Because I had checked earlier in the day. And when I looked, it was at 3.15. It's like, ah, oh, crap, I don't know which one exactly was my Pi subscriber, but that's okay. Hey, everybody, I hope you enjoyed the video here. Obviously, my favorite was the Man Crush here. Two different autographed Sports Illustrated photos. So I did go ahead and purchase... Was that our JSA or PSA authenticated? Andrew McCutcheon's autographed Sports Illustrated for kids. But that'll be an eBay or Facebook videos, which I'll show probably who knows when. But anyway, wanted to go ahead and show this off here. Hope you enjoyed this video. I upload a TTM Monday video every Monday. I also upload a video that's not TTM related on Wednesday and a video that's not TTM related on the weekend. They're autograph videos on Wednesday and the weekend. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Appreciate it if you give me a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Take care, everybody.